Michael Williams, Managing Director of the Hopkins Group and one of our licensed financial planners. There's been a lot of press recently about the announcement um, for additional tax to be paid on individual superannuation balances that exceed the $3 million mark. Um, this is quite interesting because it started initially with Labor testing the waters around the $5 million amounts and recently reduced to $3 million. Now there's nothing to be concerned about just yet because at the moment this is proposed legislation. It's not due to come in until 1st of July 2025. In between we have an election and in between they've actually got to release the legislation with the finer points to it. Once they do, we'll have a look at it and we'll determine how this affects our clients and what the appropriate strategy is to manage the situation. Now, the only concern that we have is that at the moment and the way that it's been announced is that the, the additional tax that will be charged on these accounts is will potentially be on unrealised capital gains. Now, a lot of negative press has hit already about this and we think that Labor is just testing the waters at the moment and we might see that paired back. But at the moment, it's all speculation. So whilst we're putting the appropriate strategy for you, um, until the legislation is released, you know, we, we think that it's you know, an opportune time to continue building your superannuation balance. And if we end up with a balance greater than $3 million, it's a good problem to have. That said, if you're concerned, please give us a call. We'd love to sit down with you and we can be assured that we'll manage your situation appropriately to get you the best possible tax and investment outcome that suits your circumstances. Thank you. Mark Wenzel from the Hopkins Group Investment Committee. We thought we'd give you a quick video update given the you know, headlines that have been uh, splashed across the financial pages in regards to the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank and, and more recently the Credit Suisse uh, troubles that are occurring there. So while the, the headlines are you know, shocking and they, they make an important copy, I think it's, in, it's really important to, to look through the headlines and you know, from a portfolio point of view and the Hopkins Group managed discretionary account portfolios own really high quality businesses, high quality assets you know, that, that are going to be able to ride out the, uh, any economic turmoil. Now, you know, obviously the other question that gets raised is, is what happens to Australian banks and, you know, from a, a, a point of view of regulation and a point of view of strength of Australian banks, they are the strongest banks in the world, you know, without question. The uh, changes that APRA made a number of years ago in order to require banks to keep a higher level of safe assets against the, the borrowings, and that's over 11% of uh, you know assets that are held securely to cover the bank's lending. You know are the highest in the world. They ensured that there was greater uh, consult controls around borrowing, so obviously understanding exactly where people were spending their money and whether they could afford to pay back the mortgages, which again adds extra strength to the system. And you know, from an economic point of view, Australia's really well placed. We've got, you know, demand for our exports, you know, obviously iron ore is really strong, copper is really strong, gold obviously is you know really strong, coal, even though obviously it's not favourable, you know, again continues to be, you know, highly sought after amongst the, the global population. So, you know, from an export point of view, we've also got, you know, food that's highly sought after, you know, livestock and, and fish. So, you know, from an economic economy point of view, Australia is extremely well placed to see out any troubles, you know, that, that may uh, eventuate and may spread because of the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank uh, through the system. So while there, there could be, you know, while they continue to be ups and downs and there will continue to be volatility amongst investment markets, you know, the MDA portfolio is extremely well placed in terms of uh, the way it's balanced and the way it's positioned and the quality of assets that we own. And then from an economic point of view, Australia, again, is, is really well placed to ensure that, uh, you know, the economy is going to continue to tick along well, employment's going to remain strong and certainly, you know, if there is any downturn, it's only going to be relatively mild in this country.